Now in this video, we will go through a particular question from the textbook. All right, question 14, A and B. Uh, I don't know what page because this is a question from your classmate. All right, so if you don't know how to do this question, you can stay tuned. All right, now before we can do this question, let us recall what we have done in class the previous lesson logarithms okay i asked you to do a mind map in fact i have given you uh, some notes on this logarithm and i asked you to add on basically we have learned how to change from exponential form to logarithmic form so for example i have 2 to the power of 3 equals to 8 right okay logarithm is a way of finding out uh, this base 2 to the power of what or to the exponent of what or to the index of what uh, will give us to this answer so if I want to change this to logarithmic form it will be in this form logarithm so you write a log here this is a short form for log log the base you write here so the base is 2 you can see that this is like an equation okay there's an equal sign here so same here they're actually asking you 2 to the power of what okay 2 to the power of what so remember i used the analogy of bowling right you bowl this way okay 2 to the power of what is equals to this number here this number here or this value here this result here so 2 to the power of 3 is equals to 8 so that's how you convert exponential form to logarithmic form similarly if i give you a log then i write here x then i write here let's say uh, 12 then let's say this is uh, y how do i change this logarithmic form to index form it is just you think of it as bowling uh, and it must always start with the base this is the base so x to the power of y is equals to this result so if i want to change logarithmic form you'll be uh, logarithmic form to exponential form you'll be x sorry not not to x to the power of y equals to 12. that's it now knowing this will help us to solve the question that your friend has asked so let us go to that question which is this one found in your textbook you are given this logarithm equals to this and this logarithm equals to this and you're asked to show this now this end result is always very important now you see i asked to show this right now you must always have our strategy uh, the strategy that you must use is always have the end in mind what do i mean by the end in mind so you focus on what they want you to find at the end it's too not say fine uh, to show so it's in terms of some numbers and a and b and there's no log at all correct there's no log at all and there's no y at all whereas what you're given in the question contains y contains y here and contains 4 here contains 8 here but uh, all these are just numbers so the main thing you have to do in this particular question is that you need to know that at the end of the whole thing your whole working uh, you will end up with this as your last step and there is no logarithms there's no y now how can that happen why is there no logarithms so of course you must realize that this question part of it is testing you on whether you know how to convert logarithmic form to index form okay like this right so remember always start with the base 2 to the power of 3 is 8 x to the power of y is 12 so let us apply what we have learned in class to get rid of this logarithm okay so let me do it this here using bowling uh, bowling 4 to the power of a 
don't you agree that 4 to the power of a is equals to this value here which is y see we've gotten rid of logarithms we're very happy and now we only have the y 4 and a but there's no y here is it so later you must instinctively know that you need to get rid of this y also but not to worry because you see they give us two equations we have two equations we can actually use elimination and get rid of y later not a problem all right so you should be at this point in time be quite confident that you're on the right track okay because you've gotten rid of the logarithms do the same here use bowling you always start with the base huh? 8 to the power of b equals to 2y so 8 to the power of b 8 to the power of b right equals to 2y okay if you prefer you can straight away write 4 to the power of a equals y or 8 to the power of b equals uh, 2y you can swap it around okay it's just that i don't confuse you so i write it like that so we have two equations ready and you know you see this strategy always have the n in mind we do not want any y at the end so isn't it common sense using sec uh, 2 topic or sec 2 concept to use simultaneous equation get rid of this so you sub 1 into 2 and that will give you okay now this is a part where you must be very careful because now we are applying the laws of indices that you have learned in Emacs. So if you are not strong with your indices, you will die here. Okay? The only Emacs part, the only Emacs uh, that's involved in this particular question is this first step here, first step here, that's it. The rest are all Emacs. Okay, now let's see how we can use uh, a max other uh, e max uh, to help us with this bracket means times right so it actually means two times i'm going to convert this to base two this is a okay sorry if i didn't write it clearly this is a uh, and this is b so i'm going to convert this to two to the power of three because two to the power of three is eight now why am i converting them all to base two so that i can this is like a to the power n times a to the power m okay so it's adding the power right okay once i have same base to the power of something equals same base to the power of something i can forget about the base and say that this power is equals to this power all right and can you see that i've gotten rid of the base and what i have is the next step huh? the next step is just to make this the subject and that, that, that's the answer already okay so it's always very powerful to have the n in mind and i will always recommend that uh, especially if you're not so strong in maths you write the final result that you want first can you see that right after this uh, i minus one both sides this is the step right after this particular step okay so some of you uh, will find this strategy very useful all right so this is how you do 14a that's it for 14a now let's look at 14b given this log equals this and this log equals this and they give you another one so what well, the difference between part a and part b is that part a only give you this part um part a only give you two log see give you two log right and ask you to prove something part b is a bit harder they give you one two and another thing and then they didn't tell you what they really want or what the final answer is unlike a okay they just tell you to express c in terms of a and b now how do you do that uh? okay actually it's very simple you can always have the n in mind also what does it mean by express c in terms of sorry let me focus a and b it means uh, your final answer must have c alone on one side in terms of a and b means uh, on the right hand side is some number and some number with b that means can have numbers and b cannot have anything else that means they don't want log at all can you see they don't want log at all and they don't want the p and the q all these they don't want because they only want c in terms of a and b 
you can have example 2a plus 3b uh, that's called in terms of a and b can you see that there's no p no q no log okay so this is just one example but this uh, just anyhow i just anyhow write this huh? okay i think you get the idea what they want at the end of it okay so let us now try and get rid of the things that they don't want what is it that they don't want they don't want logarithms right which means that you can apply this conversion okay which we learned in the previous lesson i think it's very simple if you use my bowling analogy then this one probably will help you later so let us do one step at a time now in the exam uh, you don't give up okay you don't be scared by the question and then you give up no you do what you know do what you can do okay in life is like that huh? you do what you can do and once you do what you can do things will automatically um, fall in place and everything will be quite easy for you all right so you see i've converted this logarithmic form to index form already and i can call this equation one and is this useful to me yes because later i'm going to throw this here um, okay later you see lah huh? okay now i tell you also you are going to be confused now i'm going to convert this now again using bowling so base start with the base first to the power of b must be equals to q so this equals to this okay now this will be my equation 2 if i want to call it equation 2 but actually i don't want uh, i don't want to call this equation 2 yet because i want to okay uh, can i can i call it equation 2 uh? okay right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to sub this here and sub this here so my 3a that's p right over q which is this is going to equals to this okay can you see the good thing is that i have in this first step eliminated the lock i got rid of the lock already and in this second step here i got rid of my p and q with the help of this clue that they gave me can you see now i'm quite close to what they want me to do c then in terms of a and b right but the only thing is um there are these things here so you cannot say oh c whatever whatever so maybe the answer is this three about c equals to three about a over 27 b is this what they want is this c in terms of a and b no this is not huh? when they say c in terms of a and b right they mean c without any power or whatever in terms of a and b c must be alone okay it cannot be that power here cannot all right so what you need to do as suggested by me just now when i explained in the other paper huh? you have to get rid of this base here okay now how do you get rid of that of course you have to change them to the same base first then they can talk to each other and you can use the laws of indices right so i'm going to bring this up and when i bring this up this power is going to become negative and there you have it your next step is just going to be getting rid of the base because of the same base so the power must be the same so your answer is just a minus 3b okay please check if there's any mistake